we're all in here. And, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, I think it's, it's a credit to ownership that our payroll is as high as it is now, um, given where we have been as recently as two years ago and where our budget might have been. But, um, you know, we've had the, the fortune here recently of being able to take advantage of opportunities or not have to make moves on the basis uh, primarily of payroll. So, <clears throat> you know, from that standpoint, I, I, think, I think we should all be pleased. Um, as far as the outfield itself is concerned, um, there are no ongoing trade discussions. Um, you know, we're fully prepared to go into the season with uh, the group that we have and make the necessary adjustments that we might have to make. Um, so that we don't end up with seven outfielders on the team at the uh, end of spring training. Um, again, there's a lot of time between now and April 1st, and I expect things will sort themselves out. The best possible result of the next six weeks is that we have six outfielders who all hit 400 and um, you know <clears throat> play very well over the course of spring training, and then we'll be forced to make some decisions.